yo, yo, what's up? I'm gonna showcase this beach I'm using. Had a, uh, a random request on a video I posted a couple days ago from a gamer named Vanessa Enriquez. Enriquez. Apologies if I'm saying your name wrong. But I'm gonna show how beach works and, uh, make it a little tutorial, I guess. Shout out to, uh, Zink, aka Peace, aka Silverbird. He is, I think, the builder of this beach that I'm using, but, uh, I have modified it a bit. It's not my build at all, but I modify every build I put in my tour. Yeah, I know we're all playing the same game, but I swear to God, everybody's twine acts different. All edit it like that. Half wall with a door. These are uh, trapped next to the floor. Anchored back here on these floors. This block off has been here for fuck. I got Super Builder back in April or May. So, and they haven't been touched yet, so I'm not going to move them until they do. This is a part of my old build that I worked into six build. This is Flinger Filter. Two, two pizza slices on two quarter floors. These half arches, three of them. on them. These are, uh, I forget the perks on them, but they're healing. And this is a healing dynamo. They're not needed. You don't need any of these rolls, really. I'm just paranoid. And then, um, Zig had block off here. Um, a friend of ours made. I think it goes like that. Well, anyway, works it like that. Yeah. Anywho, there's small ones in here that break it. So I extended this out. Two quarters, two halves. This allows everything but flingers to get done. Now, this also works with this over here. X block. With a, um, this is a three times impact to reload effect duration wall light uh, 144. That's the important part. It's a regular floor tile. This will allow mist monsters to phase. And then this is P block. Two pizza slices, two goes. You could put this like that. As long as that pizza slice is in line with that point. It can look like that, or it can look like that. It, it doesn't matter. It works the same way. This isn't phasable. That's what this is for. This is this allows mist monsters to get through if they wanna, if they turn assassin or whatever, and they wanna go to me at my AFK point, which is right up there. Over here is where the flingers go. Spawn in here, 
some will walk over this way to about right here, and then they'll walk back. Some will walk over here, have a look at the block off, and they'll turn back around and come right. Now, this is a little bit more involved. Oh, this is a couple glitches. Um, these are stacked walls, stacked regular walls. Uh, basically, you uh, rotate walls up here, and then you, uh, let's see. I guess the best way to do it would be to show you how, huh? So. I line up in the center. Now, you've got two rotated and one regular wall in there. So, what I do is add them all in the pillars. Break and replace. Now you've got stacked walls. Now you have three walls in one. You can put three traps on them too. Now, in here I have about eight. eight. This is also eight. This is also eight. But these are <coughs> variable or various speed broadsides. I've got uh, one reload, 144s. Then I've got a green reload, blue reload, purple reload, and then no reload. And they're all in here. There's some sound walls, there's some lights. I think I might have put a dart in here too. Uh, this one right here. Yeah, these walls are all filled up. But this kills the flickers. And then no reason to do the same thing. Everything else passes over here. These are all zero impact launchers. All Durant targets. Low damage. Uh, wooden floor spike. This one happens to be legacy. Double reload speed. Doesn't make a difference. Um, as long as it's low damage, it can be legendary. It can be whatever you want it to be. And then this is... Uh, can to that tile there. Also easy to do. As you can see, you stand back here, or in the middle, and you line up with the bottom cone. Don't have nothing to support it like that. It will support the floor. Anywho, us come through here, get knocked down. This is a false path. I mean, not really false, but they're not going to get to it. But it'll lead them up here to where they can go that way, or they can come through here. And They'll literally walk up the stairs, come around, and then drop down where they have a clear view. Smashers and blasters chase this. They will walk through it. Smashers charge the ant. Mini bosses, they they walk all the way around and then they TP over to the ant. And then they'll walk up my ramp path, which is this right here. And then they'll drop right here. Sometimes they'll beat on the floor a couple times, but most of the time they'll just walk right to this corner, teleport back to right here, and repeat the process until the waves are over. But it's just, uh, it's not even floating, it's all right here. But. Stuff over here. a couple spawns up here sometimes now you'll get more spawns up here for second or for two three and four player difficulty you know what I mean and that's determined by how many people is in your lobby of course um, these are three times impact or no 
These are four times impact with one reload. And then this here is, I believe, a three, two reload. This, this one here is down it to this. And then this one is down it. Where is it down it to? Oh yeah, it's down to the ceiling. And I put that there because the floor tile one will break from the spawns. These two floaters won't. This is our FRBB. Works for ramps. Um, regular RBB is used for the terrains. You want to block off the ramps. Or a few other blocks. Any flingers that may break through will get froze here or over here. These are our two main spots. Over here is a temporary flicker spot, but if I put the freeze here, the lava bomb will break it. They'll throw right here, then they'll walk over here. That's why it's called a tap spot. This is PP block. For obvious reasons. These are point nines connected underneath the mat. You don't need them. And then this is RBB. This is floating. You have to put this in before you put this in. These two pieces slices to stop any phasing right here. This is B block. This is for any smashers that want to walk this way and phase through. They end up to the end. Now down here, I had a whole bunch of free straps. Um, and then a buddy, Robot Smoke, show me this. Three rotated walls. Doors. Um, regular husks and smashers will phase this. They'll walk right through it. Or they'll despawn on it. Fliggers, just despawn. Up here, when they spawn in, they don't move. They just are frozen. Because they have nowhere to go. This is the block off you need for this. FRBB again. Then I glitched three freeze down here there. It's like in a train like that. They're about it to here like this. And this is also real simple. I'm not gonna get it first try since I said it was real simple. But to reload, three thorough effectoration. Line up about center, in line with your uh, RBB piece below. Let's try. Now, I am using an auto clicker. When I have my trap ready, as soon as the screen shake starts, I turn on my auto clicker and flick left like that. And this is what you get. <laughs> there was a time where I couldn't do that. <laughs> People ask why do I use glitches? Um, and the answer is simple. It's fun. I don't need to use these by any means. I've done endurance hundreds of times before I became active again um, in the leader reports for one of the first teams to complete it. I do a little flex. Anyway, um, it's fun. It brought me back. Building this way adds a new layer of difficulty. Um, some call it cheap. Some call it advanced building. You know, perspective. It's all a matter of who you ask. It's an opinion. It doesn't matter. I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm doing this for fun. I enjoy it. It adds a new layer of difficulty to something that's otherwise pretty simple. That's it. This walks for ramp. This is a ramp path. Don't need it for this beach. Um, yeah, that's it. 
I hope this helps the, uh, the female that asked. Um... As it did offer my help, but um, if you have any problems, reach out to me in Discord. Name on Discord is the same as this in game. I'm not working. Yeah, maybe I'll help you out. But that's it. No, these anti airs. Probably don't even need them. Since the, I put those in, down here it became a lot less active. That and my AFK spot pulls a lot of husks up. They'll get dropped down and they'll go all the way up the beach and come up to where I am and stand below me up there. That is a very good AFK spot. Alright, y'all. Anybody wants any has any questions, feel free to ask anything. Any camp, any zone, it doesn't matter. Um, endurance is pretty uh, much the same rules in all zones. Um, feel free to hit me up and ask. Peace.